What's up guys? This is Automotive Anonymous and that's the 2023 Chevy Silverado Trail Boss with a 3 liter refreshed diesel baby. This one was generously borrowed by a Twin Falls Chevy in Southern Idaho. I'll link it below. They're good people. Check it out. MSRP is about 64 and a half. They're only asking 60. But what I care about is a walk around, the specs, initial driving impressions, maybe a 0 to 60 and final thoughts so that you can see the vehicle and you can decide if it's something that's worth your time and money. These are really cool. This is the North Sky Blue Metallic. Chevy sells about half a million of these every year. And with the Trail Boss, it's your choice of engine. So whatever you want, this one just happens to be that updated diesel. It's a 323 rear axle ratio, which contributes to the MPG. It's rated at 22 city, 24, sorry, 27 highway. With a 24 gallon tank, it's roughly 650 miles of range on whatever excursion you and your family plan to go on if it's unloaded. If it's loaded, the long bed can take about 1,800 pounds of payload, the short bed about 1,700, and towing capacity is roughly 9,000 pounds. So you can tow a trail boss behind a trail boss because this puppy only weighs around 5,300 pounds, which is conveniently the same as seven adult well-fed zebras. Six and a half feet tall, seven feet wide. And then depending on the cab and bed configuration, 19 to 20 feet long. So it is a pretty big vehicle. With the two inch lift for the trail boss, you get 10.9 inches of ground clearance. So it's a really big truck just looking at it. it does have a number of uh, packages like the dark essentials package. You may notice some of those badges are blacked out. They look really good. Z71 suspension, of course, really mean front end, but no flow tie. Chevy, where's the flow tie? Red hooks on the front black accents throughout again they look really good it is a five-star crash test vehicle has some pretty big wheels too those are 255 80 17s really meaty all-terrain tires the dark rims look fantastic four inch side steps on the side but let's get out of the cold let's go into the vehicle see what it has to offer has the convenience package heated steering wheel remote start heated seats things like that Nice wood trimming, locks, window options, big speakers, double bottle door panel and enough room for a Slim Jim and a little bag of a 10 count of graham crackers, not bad. Nothing on the door sill plate, Z71 on the floor, mats, you got the hood release, you got some of your four x four options, ventilation, power seats for the cloth. This is an LT trim, so don't expect anything too fancy inside. Most of it comes in the technology and the capability that it offers. We're going to climb inside and fire this puppy up. Push button start, of course. Nice big display and 13 and some change for the diameter of the center screen. Got paddle shifters, typical Chevy steering wheel. Nice sounding horn. You got climate controls that are manual, heated seats. A lot of your other options are just those little switches. Trailer brake, volume and power, USB and C. And then you got some storage for, I don't know, maybe a stapler, some pens, some post-its, if you're going to work, potentially, depending on where you work. I guess you could fit a drill sideways, some drill bits, an extra battery, whatever your heart desires. You got some nice chrome line cup holders. Chevy knows how to do it with the center console where this isn't the seat. It's really wide, very comfortable. I feel like that's gonna age well with how firm and tight it is. Lifting it up, you got a big lift tray. Some more goodies can fit there, or some deeper goodies down there. Got a 120 volt outlet, USB, USC. It's pretty convenient. Up top, just options for the lighting on star if you were to have anything like that. No sunroof or anything, but there is a nice cutout for your head. Big meaty handle. Let's turn off the engine, hop in the back. Door panel, again, is huge. You got the same wood, shiny tr trim, the chrome. Looks really good. Speaker, door pocket. You can fit a lot of good stuff in there. Down here, you got the 60-40 split, so you can easily lift the bench, fit some flatter items or wider items in here. You got one map pocket. At five foot 11, sitting behind myself, I do home health, and I have been in living rooms that aren't much bigger than this cab. So it's actually really convenient. You got ventilation, you got more plugins, you got some cup holders because there is no center armrest in the middle of the bench back here. The bed has a number of cool features. 
The main one we're going to focus on is just dropping it. It is assisted. You get 120 volt in here. It is bed protector, like a rhino line, something like that. Looks really good, 100, uh, 500 pound tie downs at the corners. You can lift that part of the tailgate, put a little bit more stuff in there. Or have an extender if you need it to stop things like plywood or something sticking out. 9,000 pound tow again. USB on the exhaust tips, of course. Spare tire, it's a steel, but it's full size down there. Looks really good. It's time to check on our passenger. Door panel looks good. Passenger safe. Again, five star crash test rating, so you know you're doing well. Down here you do got the tools on the other side and then this is like the, the jack if you ever have to put that spare tire on. Hopefully you don't. Map pocket, so either back seat on the driver or the passenger can be the back seat driver. If you're riding shotgun, can you carry a shotgun? There is a lot of room here. Door panel looks nearly identical, minus some of your controls. You do get the manual seats though. Nothing on the door sill plate, specifically Z71. Cloth seats, they look good. You do get a little cut out there under some more wood trim, which looks great, locking glove box. It's fairly deep. You can fit a lot of good stuff under there. But I know what you're wondering, what does the turbo look like? I wanna see what it looks like. Where is that spinny boy? So we're gonna pop the hood and find out. All right guys, there it is. You got all your reservoirs right up top. You got your air filter through the plumbing, the piping, all the magical connections that bring you to the turbo. Making 305 horse and 495 torque. It is roughly updated about 10% for this new LZ0 powertrain. 10 speed automatic to follow to the all wheel drive or four wheel drive system. Looks really good, you got the battery right here. Pretty straightforward design. There's a good amount of room, depending on where you're looking. So if you ever had to modify it, work on it, it probably wouldn't be too bad of a job where this is just an inline six. It's not one of the big wider V8s. All right, let's drop the hood, take it for a drive, go give you some initial driving impressions of the Trail Boss. And we're gonna teleport inside. Initial driving impressions of the Silverado is that it's a fantastic ride. It's very smooth, it has a long wheelbase, so it feels very stable. Visibility is just phenomenal out the windows. Chevy has really designed the ergonomics of this truck well. The steering wheel, the six o'clock position is great. It's even heated down there. Armrest comfort, fantastic. Center console, great. Everything's right where you want it to be. The fancy shifter, if you need to go down to the low gears, your cup holders, if you need to grab something from storage. It handles really well, but I will say it's not like a unibody, it's not like a sports car. It's a body on frame and it's high up with the lift kit. So you are gonna really feel some of that body roll. If you're not used to that, if you are, then it's probably not gonna feel any different. It's just gonna be a newer, smoother version with the current suspension setup that it has. I really can't complain. I like Silverados, I always have. You just have to know what you're getting into. The technology in this is fantastic. The heads up display, the large screens, the backup camera has really good clarity. The speaker quality, it's not the best I've heard, but it doesn't leave me wanting much more. It's pretty average in my opinion. That is subjective, of course, depending on how well you can hear. And it's just a great all around truck. I feel really special driving it. It's like I'm looking down on the other cars, the pedestrians, and even some of the little buildings around here. It just feels like everything is below my eye level, which is kind of interesting. I don't drive full size trucks that often anymore, but it's a pretty cool experience. All right, let's get to our private road and do our zero to 60. Oh, and keep in mind, it is cold out, so we're not gonna set any record breaking times, but we are gonna have some fun and give you a rough estimate of what it does. Zero to 60, we are gonna do a brake rev, traction control's off, density altitude's only a thousand. So the vehicle's only down on power like 2%, but it is very cold outside, so don't expect any world record times right now. I'll post a GPS graph after. I'll verbalize the true 060, and then without the foot of rollout will be what it does in the bottom left of the graph. A little bit of a brake rev. Wheel spin for days if you'd let it. It pulls decently. It's not super fast. It's not like a 6.2 
but it does a good job and it came at 8.3 seconds on this test, which is just what we have to work with today. Let's get to our final thoughts. Final thoughts of the 23 Trail Boss with the three liter diesel is it's a really cool truck. You feel ginormous on the road driving it, especially if you're not used to driving big full-size trucks like this. And those that are lifted, that have 33 inch tires, that have the turbo sounds and the turbo torque. It's really impressive knowing that you're getting over 20 miles per gallon no matter what you do, as long as it's being responsible and not towing. It's really impressive what modern technology can do. This one being about 60 grand though is kind of on the expensive end for a lot of people. So you gotta decide is an LT with all the goodies worth it or is your, is your money gonna fly somewhere else? I do think these are a really good offering by Chevy. They wouldn't be as popular as they are if they weren't. And it's just amazing what you can do these days. Hood bulge, looks aggressive, shark fin on the top. All the black, dark essential package. It's a really good offering. Remember, this one is linked below if you happen to be interested or you want to go for a road trip. Otherwise, if you enjoyed my video, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. There's lots of good stuff coming. Take care, guys.